me go for one day Let me lose myself again Give me something for the pain Always trying to pretend That I'm not living just a lie Broken heart and shattered lives Let me go for one day Let me lose myself Oh, I knew How this would end Hey guys and welcome back to my channel if it's the first time joining me then welcome welcome to my channel today is friday and it's the first of march i'm starting this vlog on the first of march and um i'm actually up very early today because i've got quite a busy day and and i will take you guys throughout it all and i also have a guest today i'm shooting one episode of unpacking with tushi i don't know if i should tell you guys now who the guest is it doesn't matter. Um, it's probably going to come after this or before. It doesn't actually really matter. So uh, today I'm shooting, I'm shooting with Uviki V. Jonas. She is coming to join me on my channel. And we're going to have a little bit of a chit chat and unpack and talk about um, a lot of stuff, really. I think it's also stuff that I also want to know about, really. And then I will just have that interview with her. Her manager slash a guy that she works with sent to me like a guide to what i can ask and what i cannot ask and um how the conversation should go and i felt like you know what this is so professional actually ah uh, it's just unpacking with tushi it could be bigger if i am serious about it because when i got that i was just like sana this guy is actually taking this whole thing serious and that is the energy for 2024 take everything serious be professional and see how away that actually takes you Another thing I want to address, I want to talk about the situation with me and my coffee and Seattle coffee and all of these coffees that I buy. Guys, you guys, I love you though. I honestly do love how you guys are, that you are keeping me and holding me accountable. Because Izolo, I went and I bought a Seattle coffee and this doesn't only happen Izolo only, like it happens all the time. Where when I buy coffee and someone will DM me and be like, I bought, but on Instagram you actually said that you're done buying coffee you know and i'm not gonna lie like i do truly honestly like love that but um the problem the situation with me is that sometimes i don't sleep at home sometimes i sleep at my man's place so he doesn't have a coffee machine so in most cases i would just like sort of um oh, let me just take these capsules out there's so many of them In, in most cases where i'm not sleeping at home and i'm sleeping at his place i will definitely wake up and buy coffee um and then also there are cases where i wake up late like isolo isolo i slept at my place actually when i went to work but then i just woke up super late so there are times like that where i like basically what i'm saying to you guys is that if you see me buying coffee it's either i'm late or i woke up at my man's place it's that simple Maybe he should get a coffee machine. I just finished making my coffee now. And as per usual, it tastes so good. Isolo, guys, I went crazy at the mall. I was buying stuff. Then the Otenga top, actually, initially for the shoot, I thought I want like a white, nice top. Because I don't know, I just have a thing with white and sit downs. So I ended up going to, but yeah, I didn't really spend a lot of money, you know, because I went to like Isa's shops that are affordable, like Fashini, H&M. Mr. Price, but I've got, I've got quite a few stuff. Some were on sale, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul for you guys right now. After this, I'm going to take you guys with me to go fetch my package for my first col my collaboration that I have, and I think I have to shoot it sometime this weekend. And then I will shower, and then be ready. Let me actually show you guys. So these are the stuff that I got. Ooh, so we have Mr. Price. These are from Fushini, and then this is H and M. So at H and M, I got like some bracelets, necklace, necklace. At H and M, it was like one seventy nine, and then I also got this white t shirt top. I like that it's got like a V here. It's giving class. It's giving like kubone as a top is a nice like golf tee vibes. 
sometimes you also get them branded like from polo or whatnot that was all h and m and then from mr price i got quite a few stuff i got a bra i was actually going to get that um wonderland bra by pamela mtanga but then when i got there i didn't have a size you guys really literally finish everything i am a 32a so i ended up getting a 32a at a discounted price for 120 i bought they discounted nine rand huh but yeah i like that this is like those t-shirts bra like by t-shirt bra i mean it doesn't show when you're wearing like a tight t-shirt i'm probably gonna wear it today and then i also got this dress i thought it was really cute it was 229 in size small i didn't actually try it on um it's from the range or i didn't try it on yet but i think it's going to look really nice um at a wine estate or like boat cruise with my man or friends my man wanted us to actually go to a boat cruise on monday and he had said i must check out how that goes but i haven't really started with that but yeah if we do go end up going i'm definitely gonna wear the dress and then i came across this shoe guys this shoe i saw on one of your real zikambali beauty on instagram but on tiktok so when i saw this shoe i was like mm, i liked it i liked it when she was wearing it of course i don't know where she bought it so when i went to mr price izolo i actually came across this shoe and it was 80 rands why is this thing not focusing it was on sale for 80 rands imagine so i was like oh nice i've got like a very cheap version of it i'm gonna try and wear them and see how do they fit like if they actually hurt my feet but my feet are very sensitive so i'm pretty sure that they probably will and then i went to um Foshini. guys Foshini has these nice new tops that they have striped they also have a, had a navy and white one that's like thick and thick i got this in an extra small it was 249 and i also got it with this red pants which i need to alter this pants it's like those flowy red pants i wanted to get like a whole set but then i couldn't because it was too big and baggy on me this pants was going for 379 and it's in the size extra small i love it it's got like a slit upper isms i'm probably going to wear it on saturday because i'm going out with my man on saturday <laughs> Chalani, guys honestly to be honest just date okay so yeah that's the little haul i have for you guys um i'm just going to finish my coffee and then i'll probably shower and then go to the post office and i also need to still read i think maybe let me read that um interview guideline while i have my coffee so that i don't actually eat at azela when i come back because i still need to do my makeup and hair it's quite a little bit um and we're supposed to be starting to shoot at like around one o'clock so i'm gonna chat with you guys later so i just finished um showering and this is my earrings outfit i'm wearing my nike sneakers got them a while back and i'm wearing my tights and this crew neck from h&m and i'm also wearing my sunnies from h&m and i've got my ted baker turd let's go we're trying to make these errands one hour tops because i need to come back do my hair and my makeup and then wait for my guests so that we can start shooting here we go put this miserable song on repeat Cause you seem to forget how much you are hurting me Do what's right, you say you will, but then you don't You just don't You don't care, cause you don't take me seriously What's there to repair, if you don't wanna talk to me You should know I'm out, I'm done So I put you on a lifetime sentence And you'll no longer fear my presence So you thought I would let this live Thought you knew me so much better You're on a lifetime sentence So now you never fear my presence So you thought I would let this live Thought you knew me so much better I'm 
going to do a very quick haul for you because um my guest is on the way anyway so i went to the post office to pick up this package it's from vuglam this is one of the campaigns i'll be collaborating with them i'm not sure if it's going to be part of a reel or i'm just going to do it like a separate video but you guys never really watch is i want you guys to better and then i went to clicks i got a few items that i needed some things for the girl and then i also got some vids to um remove hair and then i've got this aquifer so a quick story about this so i use this thing it's in my bag you actually you guys saw me in the first part of the vlog where i was using it i was trying to reach out for it now um and then whenever i use it i always used to like whenever i'm with my boyfriend i would offer him if he wants it you know and he would take it or he would apply it or whatever so i think he really liked it because he sent me a text where's my phone Ah, oh, my phone is in the room so he sent me a text and he was like can you please get me that gel for the lips that you use so i think he also liked it so i bought him his own pack that's what i got and then i also got him his lens cleaner well he kind of like let me just say he just wrote a list of things that he wants me to get because he heard that i was actually going to click and he asked me to get um his the stuff that he needs so he asked for these lens cleaners this is what he uses for his glasses his sunglasses his laptop this is actually a plug guys because i also use it with him and it was a game changer for my glasses before i lost them and then i also got him this aquifer that he asked for two days back he went and played soccer and he's been saying that his back was like painful so i'm going to surprise him with this rub i guess that's the best i can do for him because he's been saying that his body is painful and then i just got these wipes these gynecad wipes i think as a girl it's very important to have these stuff because you know us we always have something going on down there so after you pee maybe using this and also your painty liner is the best way to achieve hygiene and then i just did a refill of my nivea um roll on and i got myself gum so that's just about it and then i also went to collect my jean these are the jeans i bought at um this place guys i know they don't look like they look questionable right now but i'm gonna wear them and then i'm gonna show you when i'm wearing them they were like 200 250 they are straight leg the tailor really didn't do a good job sana look at this i was like it looks like a very it's giving 250 jeans it's giving to i was like you guys this is not how these jeans were when i brought them in and i was like this is not how the ending it should be this is literally giving i am 250 rands this ending or am i being dramatic guys yeah so i think i'm not really happy with the job they did so i told them because i have to wear them today i'm just going to wear them and then i'm going to bring them back and they will see what they're going to do with the ending i don't like this lining at all it's like literally killing the skin um yeah that's it from me now i'm just going to do my makeup and hair quickly before vicky gets here so we can actually shoot i thought she wasn't coming until i texted the guy he works with and he was like no she's actually on her way and i was like oh guys communication will actually do be do us all better because i was like literally paulila was like okay maybe this thing is cancelled uh i got this candle ne? i like it it smells good but it's just got check wait let's wait for it check that black thing and my woolies one doesn't do this one this actually i don't know what does that in toilet but it actually does stain because this um candle was right beneath that cupboard and if you see this cupboard up it's got like a black um, thing that i have to wipe up with the handy end so i just try to put it like a moyeni like where there's nothing really under it so that it doesn't like stain anything i am going to get ready and i'm gonna try not to be an inconvenience for this whole thing so i need to <gasps> forgot my makeup bag in the car oh god <sighs> i'm gonna see you guys later few moments later <laughs> hey we're still here honey <laughs> <laughs> this girl was giving me stress earlier i thought she was not gonna come because she was not communicating <laughs> but she arrived we shot our video what a success and i can't wait for you guys to listen to it and see everything we were just chit chatting and talking about Mrs. Vicky Vicky Chai. See, at the drinks we were chilling. Friday yeah, afternoon. Now we outside. We're just finding a spot so we can just chill each because we haven't ate the whole day. We're just working, mm. so we just want to chill, eat, and then um, yeah, have a nice night out. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm today? feeling happy. Like even mm -hmm. the the, I mean, yeah. the sun is already set, but yeah. like I'm having an amazing day. We had an amazing 
Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. I hope you guys actually watch. Well, you, and I trust you guys will watch it. So, so yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll and please do down. follow this girl on her Instagram page and also her channel. She promised some good stuff. Okay. <laughs> she promised. So let's please. do it. Standing on it. Only <laughs> on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go so that we can okay, find a nice spot. Uh, I have to put this. I can't take this with me. This thing. Okay, we can dance. Take me your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong. I belong to you. And I'll always be around when I need. Hey guys, um, the last time we spoke, I was at um, Tiger's Milk here yeah, with Vicky. So today is Saturday, and the time is around half past three. And we just arrived at uh, Constantia Glen. Yes, Constantia Glen. We just arrived at Constantia Glen. I'm with my man. Um, it's nothing much. We just like. <laughs> Are you not my man? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'm with my man. Um, we just like having a chill Saturday to ourselves. Um, nothing much, just wine tasting. We had lunch earlier um, that I made, and then we are here for wine tasting session and taking you guys with. Yeah, we had to wait for like 20 minutes um, to get a place to sit, but then while we were waiting, we just got like glasses of swab blank you know what I said swab blank they are, I said it was like swab and then that guy was like Sam so I don't know who's right me or him please comment in the comment section and let me know is it swab or is it Sam because I think it's swab anyways so we got two glasses one, it's basically one glass but like we got two of them which is mine and my man's and yeah I think we're gonna do wine tasting and hi hello <laughs> just wanted to ask about the blankies. Because they're blankets here. We have like a Oh, okay. I thought it was for the while you're here, you can make yourself. I thought while you're here, you can make yourself. Um, yeah, like just something to cover up. Okay. Okay. Yes. Make it make make it. And then I just wanted to ask, ask about the wine tasting because we just arrived and we had both these glasses in there while we were waiting. So we were actually here for wine tasting. Yeah, so you should open up the menu and choose the wine tasting. Great. And the Wi Fi here outside? No Wi Fi. Thanks. <laughs> The tea's very really nice, but any wooded white wine is there. So I, I'm not a fan of the I think it's the way she's not how we eat it. Oh, that's what you're going to do. Say, yeah, I'll oh, answer what you're asking. Yeah. You know, right to you? Yeah. Yeah. Like Vendy Green and all that dance. Yeah. It's a really unnecessary thing. Sorry, yes. Even the blanket situation, it's like I'm asking something that's, no, it's not that's cool. like out of the norm. It's, no, it's never been done before. Like, I thought I was. No, no, it's me. What do you see? This is good. No? So that's the downside of it. Um, so yeah. I've got to go. Yeah. Come in July. Baby, can you do a snap of this? Then France. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Complete yeah. Lean back. Do the other hand because you're. It's my Instagram. Like this. Going around two weeks. Can you move the phone? Second room. Move the phone. Yeah. So they would have been to change the wiring completely. It's going to be in Europe for five years. Wait, no, you go to the side. Go to the side. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I should be a... The guys are so The problem is, that messes up on the October rugby tour to Bali. I still have a Yes. And it's not what we can say. You're probably going to be like, I told you. Give it to you. It's a bit but it is summer. When it's summer, you don't need a jacket. Check around. So they just put some red like wines for us now because we we're drinking wines the first time. So what we got the wine tasting we got us got four white wines and two red wines. So they poured so my boyfriend in the first round he said, Oh, these wines are like too much, you know. And then he stopped drinking. And then they came with the reds now and he just had his first sip again, he's like, these wines are too much. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, these wines are too much. <laughs> I haven't had my red, but he was right with the first white wine, guys. They were too spicy, just too strong, and too like. And I think it's just generally like a taste that we're not used to because, like, we've got like, I think we've got like the same palettes. Yeah, we've got the same palettes because we. We discovered a, quite a few of them together. Yeah. yeah. So we've got like the same palette, so we he knows what's like not nice that he thinks I would like, and it's always right. So the first white wines definitely they were also I just felt like they were just too like concentrated and strong, and that's not the vibe that we used to. So I'm gonna have one of the reds. Which one are you having? I think you're having this one. Oh uh, no, I'm having this one. I'm saying which one? Uh, uh, I think I'm. I think it's this one. Yeah. Yeah, definitely this one. No, no. Okay, so I'm gonna have the one that he's having and let you guys know. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> Come here, silly guys. <laughs> Mm. These wines are too much. I agree. These wines are too much. I think they're just too strong. On top of all of that, I don't even like like red wines, so this is like very difficult. For me. But we shall drink the drink bowls. Few moments later. This is the end of our like. Land Constantia experience. We're going home now because it's also getting like a really cold. Did you get it, baby? Okay. Um, can you hold my phone for me, please? Thank you. It's getting a, a bit cold, so we just decided that we're gonna go home and actually chill at home and enjoy the rest of the Saturday. But it's been so fun. Guys, I take my words back. Clean Constantia is a place to be. Like Kumnandi Apa, it's so nice. And I had really like so much fun and a great service as well. Um, yeah. Okay. Next day. Uh, today is Sunday, and you know Sundays are for lovers. <laughs> um, just got some coffee from Seattle. Um, we are walking now to food lovers because today I want to cook some oxtail I'm still not sure whether I'm gonna do it with like rice or some but yeah, I'll just decide when we get to food lovers so that's what we're going to actually get now 
it's quite a bit of a walk like maybe 10 15 minutes guys we made a stop at the flower palace we were here last week um, but we're back again the last time we were here we actually checked some fish but then it just sounded like it was a lot of admin but we're back here again to check it out I'm gonna show you guys this place is like heaven honestly I'll give you guys the tour but these are the fish so long Get any. You're grounded. You got one. <laughs> Aww, the orange one is actually really nice. You release the tape. <laughs> we can't wait, you're showing in my vlog. <laughs> yeah, you must just walk next to me so that they don't see you. <laughs> Sigui era. Okay guys, we're actually chasing time, so we're leaving now. Um, but yeah, I think I am in the process of getting the fish, and when I do, I'll probably come get it with you guys. Yeah, but it just requires a lot of effort, and also the thing is that with me, I live in between like my house and my boyfriend's house, so I'd have to like transport the fish, go with it, move around with it. So we're just trying to figure out those logistics, and then once all of that is sorted, then yeah, you can put it in the plastic water leave with it but it's so much effort uh -uh. Monday sorry um, I'm leaving my boyfriend's place now the time is 27 the reason I'm leaving this early is because I have a meeting at 10 o'clock with a potential client and so I just thought actually I think I think I'm just like starting my day actually that's how I'm leaving early it's not necessarily for the meeting but it's just so that I can be productive for the rest of the day um, I literally woke up and I wore all my jewelry, Sana, because I was trying to ensure that I don't forget anything at his place because I don't think I'm going to see him this week. Oh, guys, I had a wholesome weekend. Yo, like, it was so nice. On Friday, I shot a video um, which is going to go out after this. Um, I, I actually thought it was going to go out before this vlog, but then I thought it's not going to make sense because I keep referring to the host that she's coming, so... It won't make any sense for you guys. So the video is definitely going to come after this one. Maybe like I'm going to try to make them three days apart. So if you're seeing this three days later, or like let's say five days later, you'll then see the video. Um. Anyway, so I did that on Friday, and then after that we decided to go and have some dinner, and then we had some shisha and we drank. Sk also joined us, my friend, who is Vicky's friend. SK joined us and then we all had drinks together and then we then decided to go home. Saturday I was out with my man at a wine estate. Oh, it was so nice, guys. The weather was not like necessarily weathering, but the vibes were vibing. Definitely like, oh. Um, I'm kind of in my era right now of just like Constantia wine estate hopping. I'm kind of in my southern suburb home. Um, era so allow me I mean I, whenever I used to go to and I said I would go to 
Stellenbosch. But then um, now, not, but I, I must say, so far, I'm enjoying the Constantia wine estates, the southern suburb wine estates. I'm definitely enjoying them. I'm not sure if it's because I'm a man. <laughs> it's just like because they're really nice and they've got like a really good aesthetic um sunday sunday my man and i decided to actually take a walk to food lovers um just to squeeze in a little bit of um, exercise for me because sometimes i always just wake up and i panic i thought this thing is off sometimes i always just wake up and i panic about my weight i'm just like oh my god not this way so instead of us driving i asked him can we walk to food lovers so we walked um and then we arrived but then we did uber back because obviously we had stuff we were actually just going to buy ingredients for the oxtail um that i cooked uh and the veggies and stuff and that's all we did the whole day guys oxtail you have to like cook it the entire day literally i started cooking it at around 11 half past 11 to 12 let's say at 12 um and i ended off at like half past seven at night I don't know if it's because of the stove or like deem I'm the problem, but like it took it always takes me the whole day, but it always comes up really good, really nice. I think it's also because I'm very patient with it. I love it when it falls off the bone. So made that dished up at like half past um, twenty two eight, and then we were having our dinner. We thought we were gonna have like a load shedding at eight, but then I think they forgot about this area. They didn't switch off umbane um at eight um yeah we chilled and we just worked a bit towards the end of the night and then i also woke up very early this morning to continue like working and then now i'm just heading off to start my week and yeah so i'm gonna try to go now and i'm gonna catch up with you guys later when i do have some time God, I actually came early at my place because when I got here, I actually got onto my Gmail because I was just trying to check for the meeting I told you guys about. It's actually at the client's place, so which is good because then I have like an hour to get there. The time now is like 8:48, and it's in 10, so I will definitely make it. Imagine if I had woken up at like 5 to 10, and then I start going onto my Gmail and realize actually that it's actually in 10 minutes at the client's place. Sometimes being organized, being that girl that wakes up early, check your stuff, you start your days very early, it saves you it saves you from a lot of things. Sorry, like from a lot of things. But today I woke up at like five and I was just like, you know, reading some stuff and I hadn't even checked the details of the meeting. I just assumed it's online because usually that's how like our influencer campaigns um are. They start online like on Teams and then never, never, ever you have to go to the client's place. So because I'm trying to be that girl or like today i woke up early to start my day i then found out and i still had time to actually get ready i don't know what's with my voice it sounds so deep <clears throat> but i slept and i didn't even like consume a lot of shisha this weekend but yeah i'm actually all right all, all done i'm wearing this um green blazer from joe Bucket, and let me actually show you guys in the mirror so this is how i look this green blazer from um joe Bucket. Uh, i'm sure you guys have seen it on my instagram and then i'm also wearing these brown pants from shein it's like hippie and then i'm wearing these um shoes that i bought from mr price the ones for 80 rands honestly i can feel that they are 80 rands on my feet like they're just not so comfortable um i just want to show you also guys look this is a size three but this is how it sits um yeah when i get clothing it is 80 rand look at that okay enough with me blabbing i think we should actually head out so that we can um not be late and yeah i'm going to see you guys on the other side
much 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 later the time now is like two o'clock um and i stopped at mcd's to get some jalapeno burger and nuggets but they asked me to wait for 10 minutes for my nuggets because they aren't ready anyways uh i'm actually so surprised that this is like their medium cup cold drink it's so big i expected the smaller one but i'm not complaining oh she didn't give me a straw oh she did anyways guys i'm so exhausted but i actually want to be productive for the rest of this day I want to go home and close off this video, edit it, and then I also want to shoot. Um, I want to go home actually and shoot for. Oh, I want to go home and shoot for the glasses that I went to collect, edit that, and hopefully send it to clients by Wednesday. And then I also want to have a vlog up by Wednesday. So I'm really hoping that today I'm going to spend some time shooting the work for the client and then i'm going to edit this video put it out and then send that to the client and then if they approve it will be up on wednesday then the sit down video will definitely be out um the following weekend um i want to tell you guys a story while we wait for my food i think my food is coming okay no i want to tell you guys a story not a story man but like it's something that i was actually meaning to tell you guys so last week i actually went out to wide estate if you follow me on instagram you probably know not the one that is part of this vlog not this one is it is all saturday that other weekend around the 29th of feb went to not 29th of feb 26 27th of feb 27th of feb went to wine estate with my boyfriend's friends and so that was my first time actually meeting them and these are his friends from like university sana the nerves i was so nervous i was literally mumbling when i first met them i was chewing my words i've never felt ganjiana like oh let me rather say i haven't felt like that in a long time yo and i think it's mainly because obviously it's my boyfriend's friends and also they were there with their wives and um everyone around me was actually older than me even if not too old but definitely older and i think it was actually my first time being in spaces like that because usually it's either i'm around people that are more or less my age or i'm older or um or we are more or less the same age or i'm older yes so uh, it was my first time ever to be in a space where i was the youngest and oh i just felt not intimidated but i just felt so nervous thinking that they're going to talk about things that i don't know about i was overthinking the whole thing it was so nice guys it was good vibes oh i looked good everyone looked good we had a ball like basically and we we're just ordering bottle after bottle the ladies the guys were just getting beers after they were done with their tasting we ate it was really really nice i'm not gonna lie but i was very concerned because my nerves only started going down ah, hi hello thank you thanks thanks Okay, my food is here, but let me just finish off. Let me just finish off what I was saying, and then we can go. Um, I was saying, but hmm, lost my train of thought now. But I was basically saying that um, overall I was nervous, and that um, hmm. I lost my train of thought, guys. <laughs> but basically, I was saying that I was nervous. Oh, yes. I was actually going to go to the point of... I don't like the fact that, like, my nerves only started coming down when I drank alcohol. Like, when I had my first glass of alcohol, that's when I felt like, hmm, okay, you're right. So, I'm really interested to know people who don't consume alcohol how do you guys deal with nerves mm, or how would you have handled that situation you know 
because guys i think we should also make it priority to be able to navigate through life without drinking alcohol so if ever i'm in a situation like that and i'm not drinking i should be able to you know be fine overcome the nerves but so long i want to hear from the people who don't drink how do you overcome your nerves in situations like that or even worse situations where you're going for um, Mm, even worse situations how do you overcome your nerves i know when i go for like things like let's say an interview like job what what or presentations i'm always so stressed and nervous you know like i get so much anxiety from that and obviously you can't drink what you present so i usually just the bunny nerves throughout yeah it's obviously not a nice feeling You know what? The more I eat, the more the lamba. Hmm. I'm actually so hungry, and I'm thinking last night I didn't finish my dinner. That's what I made ox oxtail, and I ate just a bit. You know, oxtail takes like I did tell you guys it takes like the whole day to cook. Like you end up as so shorter because you've been cooking it the for hours, seven hours. Mm, not seven i'm lying six hours six five five six hours imagine work with a kitchen for six hours like ah oh. by the time you dish up you actually are full but today i feel like i could have that meal it was so good you know my mom called me while i was cooking yesterday and she says she's surprised that I can cook oxtail. At home, I don't. I think there's a lot of stuff they don't know that I can do. And it's because when I lived there, my mom would cook for me. Yes, you know, guys. I'm not gonna be lying. I think I barely did anything at home, Shem. Like the only responsibility I had at home was to obviously contribute financially and also to clean my room ah, cooking oh and buy electricity cooking like i didn't cook i didn't clean i didn't do laundry i think my mom really did spoil me Not like spoil me in a way that I can't do anything. I can do stuff, but like she would let me be, you know. And I think it's because she had now understood in the mayas, but I can't do this stuff. But it's just that I'm lazy. Because like if you come to my place, my place is like spotless, clean, nice, neat. And I would rather fly around the place and get it dirty. So I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm not untidy. I'm very clean but I'm just lazy it takes me time to actually do something but when I do it like I need to tell myself but I'm gonna do it at the same like for example now I'm like okay I need to change my bedding or I have to have a routine for myself and say every week I'm changing my bedding but in that week it can be any any time during the week it can even be absurd or like around 10 o'clock if I do think of just getting up and doing it I'm gonna do it I love doing stuff I love I love cleaning I love but it must just be at my own clock like I must decide but okay I'm going to clean I'm going to I need to basically that like this setting is fine for me because then now that I have my own place I decide what to do and that's exactly what I need for myself going forward I need to just always have my place and I must call the shots you know what I think the reason why I'm rambling <laughs> is because I am actually a low-key tired. Last night I went to bed at two 
because I was working and then I woke up in the morning at like half past five and so I didn't really sleep much so I think now it's catching up on me and there's even until I can be drowsy I think I'm going to eat maybe catch a nap and then I will chat with you guys later bye guys how do you like my new frame from Vuglam Vuglam is the company I am working with and this is my favorite pair that I chose I think I'm gonna make it my everyday pair what do you guys think let me know in the comment section but I will be sharing the rest of all of the other frames with you guys I don't know I've got so many frames upper end line because I've collabed with them twice and I've collabed with Smart once so like there's just too many i think i probably have about 15 frames imagine i don't know whether i should give them away or do what because guys like frames can be very expensive actually like they can be too expensive so mm, i don't know i'll give it a thought um anyways i came back home and i bought myself some mcdonald's i did share that with you guys oh when i came back home i had to go back again to um do something else i got a call that i had to go do something else and then i went to do that um something on the pipeline that i can't really talk about to you guys now but anyways yeah so i had to then obviously come back home just um did a little bit of admin and then i had to drive out again um to do that so i just got back now the time is like okay i'm lying i probably got like two hours ago an hour ago and then I shot this video, which I'm not really happy about because I'm really hungry. I'm not in the mood. Um, then I just decided to change into comfortable clothes. I'm wearing like a sweatpants. You guys can't see. Sweatpants. And this is my man's shirt that I was wearing this morning. Um, and I'm just going to chill, watch some TV. I'll see if I can work. But if I can't, I'm not going to force it because I've, I've done too much for to the day. I can do dinner and Ziva um i got nuggets you guys know what i got right this is literally me about to end of the vlog actually so there's nothing much guys that is the end of the video if you enjoyed this <gasps> guys let me give you a review for my sang sam saka mr price do not i understand why it's, i don't know i don't think it's the 80 rand guys but it had reduced from 200 and something i think to 80 rand so i was like let me buy it it's so uncomfortable to walk in I, I, it's it's definitely a law but the shoe you know itself looks great my outfit looked so good you guys saw it i even came back and i changed into jeans but the shoe itself quality zero and also in it we have got dollar while you're in the shoe like it's giving it's giving 80 rands not complaining am i gonna wear it again definitely because in my am leah <laughs> But you guys know me with uncomfortable stuff but i would definitely not advise you guys to even order it online unless maybe you can go to the store and just walk around and that's and then you will see that but i'm kind of this video and i was like mm -mm, it's not as cool right anyways let me close off this vlog guys i'm going to see you guys on my next video which is probably going to be a sit down like i said ugh, i'm getting a call from my mom hello mama okay mom bye I said bye to my mom instead of to you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys on my next video. Bye.